Um, some questions. If you could, could you touch on the Hanneman Hospital owner, Joel Freeman? I guess he denied the city to open his hospital to help COVID-19 patients, and everyone is seemingly blaming greed. I, I haven't read the story. I should read the story. I'll, I'll try to look it up and read it. But generally, I'm a big believer in private hospitals or private hospitals. You should be able to you should be able to do with your hospital as you see fit. Um, I think, so I don't know the details of the case. I, I, I'm not going to comment on it. I'll, I'll look it up, though. How long should we tolerate a shutdown before ARI organizes civil disobedience? Two months is ridiculous. We need to fight. Um, ARI can organize civil disobedience tomorrow. What, five people will show up? What, what, are, we, what are you talking about? I mean, there's so much advocacy, education, speaking, yelling on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on every medium available to you before we get to the stage of civil disobedience. And civil disobedience has to be for, on a principle. And ARI has to fight for the right kind of principles. But nobody's going to join us right now on these principles. We still have so much work to do. And look, ARI is not an activist organization. ARI is an educational organization. But nothing is stopping any of you from starting up an activist organization that wants to protest what is going on today in America. And I'm sure I would be very supportive of that. So do it. Don't look like everybody else in the culture for leaders to guide us and to solve all our problems. You got a problem? You go out there and, view, and do it. That's not true about ARI's viewers per YouTube stream. They have many more than that. But the point is, we're small. We're small. We're in the thousands. And that, a civil disobedience movement does not make. But you could do this. You could start a movement. Start a movement. Not of kooks, which is the danger here. But a real movement to stand up to the government and demand our freedoms, to demand they do the right thing. So it says, are there other things on top of writing we can do to fight this? Yeah. I mean, it's all in the same vein. Write, speak, and keep doing that. I, I don't know what else there is. Share, you know, do the, do the YouTube things. You know, share, like, find articles that strengthen your point. Post them on Facebook. Post them everywhere. Find articles about how the free market is helping here. You know, dislike, intervene when people are, you know, tell people. No, I don't think the government is doing the right thing. No. I don't think a lockdown is necessary. No. I don't think government takeover of healthcare, government takeover of the hospitals is the right thing. No. I don't think Trump has done the right thing. No, I don't think Como has done the right thing. I think they're weak, pathetic politicians that know only one thing, which is the fist. Know only one thing, which is coercion. They're not thinkers. And what we need right now are thinkers. Um, let's see. Rand Ideas took off in a harder economic times of the 60s and 70s. 60s were not hard economic times. 60s, the economy was booming. It's the 70s were bad economic times. Atlas Shrugged sales hit record in 08. It's time to double down on message. Yes, I think that's absolutely right. I think, I think there is a chance that this economic crisis will lead people to discover Ayn Rand, will lead people to read Atlas Shrugged. But only, 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 only if we're out there showing them there's an alternative. You know, Jonathan Honing is the only one on TV today saying no to all these things. You guys need to... Demand more voices like that on television. You have power. Your power is in speaking and writing. Your power is through social media. 
but y- y- you gotta focus that power. You, you know, you, you've gotta. However many thousands of people out there who support these ideas have got to band together on the internet and advocate for certain ideas and tilt the discussion and get the media engaged and get journalists engaged and get them thinking about alternative ways of looking at the world, thoughtful ways of looking at the world. Fed continually does stimulus. What happens e- to the economy? I mean, Fed is is gonna is doing this massive stimulus, basically saying we'll give as much money as needs to be to provide liquidity to markets. What happens is it thoroughly, fundamentally, systematically distorts the economy. It makes wealth creation long term difficult. It shores up the economy in the short run, and sets it up for failure in the long run. So I, I don't think like other people that the outcome is hyperinflation or complete collapse or the dark ages or whatever. I, I don't think that because I think there's, there's an enormous amount of productive genius in America that keeps this economy going. But I do think it distorts. It hampers. And it makes this country a lot less able to grow and create wealth and produce and, and, and succeed in the future. The, the, the pain we suffer from what the Federal Reserve is doing and the stimulus package the, the, the government is doing will be slow to no economic growth in our future. Stagnation, long-term stagnation until we really change our ways. How come some people can evade reality their entire lives, while others can't. Well, everybody can. To evade reality is a choice. You want to evade reality, you can. I mean, you can't because you're too, you have too much respect for your own life. You can't because you love yourself and you love your life too much. But, so it's, it's not an issue of, can or can't. It's an issue of the choice you make. And some of us can't do it because it's stupid. It's, <laughs> it's self-destructive. And we're not willing to engage in self-destruction. We're not willing to engage in self-destruction. Uh, today, I watched what I thought would be an innocuous April's Fool's joke video from an entertainment YouTube channel. It brutally attacked capitalism regarding the pandemic. I counter-argued in the comments, but I was alone. Well, thank you for counter-argument in the comments. You never know who might read those comments and be, and be swayed by your words and use the opportunity of commenting to link to good material. Link to Ayn Rand's books, link to the Ayn Rand Institute, link to me, link to, link to places. You are not going to make all the arguments. But if somebody wants to follow up, if somebody finds what you're saying intriguing, you got to give them hooks to go find out more. But yes, everybody is going to come out of this crisis, anti-capitalist. Everybody is going to come out of this crisis, anti-capitalist. Capitalism will be blamed for everything, just like it was in 08, just like it was in the Great Depression. Capitalism will be blamed, and if we don't stand up, if we don't defend it, then we have nobody but ourselves to blame. So we have to speak up for capitalism. This crisis would not be a crisis if not for capitalism. Virus is nothing for a capitalist economy in terms of dealing with. We'd be so much wealthier. Our hospitals would be so much more sophisticated. Our ability to create vaccines would be so much more superior. Our ability to, 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 to make antivirals that are effective on the fly would be so much better ability to keep people alive who are sick until we develop those medications would be so much better. 
the wealth that we would have, the, the productive capacity that we would have. It's just unimaginable. So, no, you got to fight full capitalism. You got to try to explain that to people. And of course, as I said, the planning, the preparation, the thinking, businesses under freedom, think. That's how you make money, by thinking. Exact opposite of politics. What, is what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, Many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...